three of you. How's it going today? Good. It's going great. You. How are you? I'm good. It's now I'm in Toronto and it's snowing, so I'm not a happy camper. But anyway, but I bought you guys and I'm a happy camper. So that's all good. What an amazing... <laughs> Thank you. I love your background. It makes, me feel, it makes me feel warmer, I have to tell you. Um, what an amazing final season. Okay, Liz, so many tears. A lot of laughs, but so many tears. I don't know how you all, all three of you got through it. All four of you actually got through it. But Liz, you know, what ultimately ended up surprising you most about Christina and Linda? Because God... You, you all just knocked it out of the park, something that maybe you didn't expect. I mean, you know, Christina and Linda did not know each other before this show. So I was actually there at the lunch where they met for the first time. And, you know, there are these moments when you're making a new show where you just keep your fingers crossed that you've made a decision. And, you know, we cast Christina first. And then I've, I've, I've been a big fan of Linda's for a long time, as well yeah. as Christina. And we we're like, I hope this works. They're, they're both really good. And, you know, I watched them over the course of one lunch, kind of like, just like fall in friendship together. And I thought, okay, this might just work. And then really from day one, I think on day one or two of, of season one, they started, uh, we, we shot their scene where they meet on screen for the first time. And yeah. over the course of, you know, that week we shot the pilot. And as Jen and Judy become friends, I watched, behind the scenes as Linda and Christina became friends. And I right. think watching the evolution of their off-screen friendship bleed into the chemistry that they have on screen, I mean, that's been the most delightful surprise because it's what you hope for, it's what you like, you know, pray for. And, and it, it absolutely exceeded, you know, my expectations in terms of what chemistry between, you know, two people can, can, can feel like. Yeah. Yeah, and Linda, I mean, let's expand on that because you're not just friends, you're family by now, all of you, but yeah. you and Christina, what you guys go through in this season is beyond and so bittersweet. But my favorite was when the two of you got high. I swear to God, I could not stop howling. How much of that is you two and, and your company? <laughs> what do you mean? There were no <laughs> drugs on set. No, no, like we no, should, no. Yeah, not but on set. It's a, it's, you know, it's, it's like what you say, it sort of bleeds into each other. I mean, you know, the, the friendship that we have on screen and off, it's just, we're so lucky because, I, you know, like she said, you don't know. You don't know when you meet somebody. You don't know how they work. You don't know if they're going to. And we managed to have this thing where we all sort of worked the same, where, the, you know, nobody has this has an ego. Everybody's there to work together. And that just makes things alive when you're working so when christina and i you know get to go back and forth with each other i mean it's very living and then you know you see us two on screen but it's always liz with us too there's three of us there all the time <laughs> and and during those scenes she'd be like okay you guys now this is happening and then go and we would do these you know things with balloons or we would do <laughs> these, you know like things with spatulas and we're practicing with the spatula yes. and then we hand it off to christina and you know it's really kind of this fluid creative thing it's not yeah. just something you read on the page you memorize and bring to set it's something that you read on the page you memorize because it's wonderful and then you come to set and you play and i think that yeah. is sort of what we do at its best that's the, what feels the best and, and and i'm so glad that you you know you're saying that, oh, that it works brilliant. for you too <laughs> that's that's it's brilliant really okay james we got to end on you i wish i had an hour with the three of you but james honestly i love ben's journey and you know between steve and ben who gave you more fun? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's like choosing between your children. Uh, they're both fun in their own ways, and they're both challenging in their own ways. But I guess as an actor, for me, I don't know how you think about this, but and you, you as well, but it, the further the person is from who you really are, that's yeah. kind of the... That, and, so, and with Steve, it was just like, oh, well, I just kind of, sort of depart from myself and go be this completely other sort of, you know, despicable, um, but charming dude. Um, yeah. so that was kind of fun being uh, maybe categorized as a villain. Like that's people always talk about how just, you know, playing the villain's kind of always more fun. Um, but like, I think with Ben, the, you know, the, the sort of creative challenges lied within, um, you know, his, his sort of, uh, his r wrestling with his own demons and, and, and his own sort of, emotional feelings he has towards Jen and and um so it was more um sort of that was that was harder actually um it was more it was more complexity to him 
and I think that I think that that existed in Steve. Steve was just sort of like a you know st straight up um, <laughs> d bag. Yeah, yeah. d bag. <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah. Uh, yeah. But uh, but yeah. but it but it can be fun to play that. You know. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, listen, you guys are all brilliant. I want to thank you all from the bottom of my heart for such a fabulous series. I just, I'm going to miss it so much. And uh, you guys all need to come back to Toronto and come visit me in the summer. Okay. okay. <laughs> thank you so Thanks. much for the kind words. Appreciate it. Okay, guys, take care. Thanks.